We had multiple resources that included these professionals. Matt Foster at NOAA, Steve Penrod, who is a traffic engineer as well as software developer, and Sean Godfordson, who is a civil engineer at the Kansas City suburb of Overland Park. We also read lots of books, watched lots of videos, and researched a lot online, all of which we have included in our project notebook. After all the information research that we that I just stated, we finally decided on our problem and solution. Here is our skit. Hello everyone, thank you for coming. I am Bubba, the city council representative. I'm glad you could make it. Hi, my name is Miles and I live in low line area where it does foot often when it rains. Hello, my name is RJ and I'm the civil engineer for Kansas City. Hello, my name is Kevin and I am an Astro Incorporated representative. Hi, my name is Ariana and I'm a representative from Astro Incorporated. Today we are all meeting here to learn more about the Astro Flood Center, a product of Astro Incorporated. I'm really happy to be here today because I have some concerns about people driving into flood areas. I actually had a friend in college who witnessed a guy drive right past the flood warning sign like it wasn't even there. We know that people have set up signs and put up gates, but signs don't always appeal to people, and gates have to be closed by hand every time it floods. We know this is a problem, and people can get hurt. For these reasons, we are going to convince the city to buy our new product, the Astro Flood Sensor. How exactly does this project work, and how can it protect the system? Our solution is a sensor box stationed on a pole. When it floods, the water will rise up the pole until it hits the top of the box. Uh, the, the sensor will then send a signal to the flood security system and the flood command base to block off the area and to alert people of flooding. Here's a model. So where will we put the box? In low-lying areas. An example would be on the side of the road. And how will this help our community? Well, we know that some parts of Kansas City are very flood prone, and this solution would help remote activate security system to prevent unnecessary casualties. Do we have any evidence that people die from viewing the lake? Well, we've seen that people ignore alerts a lot. Because of that, flash floods often catch people unprepared. I don't think people even know that two feet of water can flood a car. Here is a video of what can happen when uh, when security systems are delayed, we think you will be impressed. Gosh, it's raining really hard out there. I better get home quick. The gate isn't closed. I guess I can just keep going. Oh no! The road ahead is flooded in water! Oh no, I didn't get in time to close the gate. Sir, stay there. I'm coming. It's okay. I know this road. I can still make it through. The water isn't very deep. Oh no! The water washed away the road! I'm being swept away! No! Now he's dead and it's all my fault for not getting here fast enough. This is what happens after the Astro Flood Sensor has been installed. Now with the Astro Flood Sensor installed, I don't have to go close the gates. Gosh, it's raining really hard out there. I think it'll flood. I better get home quick. I also heard they installed a new flood sensor this morning. I hope it works. My family's probably expecting me home by now. Wait a minute, the gate's closed. I guess I'll go home another way. Now Kansas City can be a lot safer from floods thanks to the Astro Flood Sensor, and I can finally get a peaceful night's rest. How feasible is it? I don't want any more people to keep being hurt. Our product is feasible because it solved the problem of human delay in alerting people of flooding. When the water rises, it will activate a sensor to close the gate that will then block the flooded road. I agree. It is also more, even more feasible because it is more, it is cheap compared to other solutions and is more effectively implemented and executed. The city has a budget, you know. What do you think this would cost? I was informed it would cost approximately a hundred dollars. I will provide you with the exact number we need at a later date. An estimate would be 60 units for our city. What are its specifications? Our product is inexpensive, stationary, and waterproof has a variable size based on need and is stationed at least six inches off the ground. I like the idea. This product would be a great addition to our city. I agree. I think this would be a great thing for our community. I'm going to take this back to, I'm, I think it's nice and small and it would save a lot of lives in the future. I'm going to take this back to the city council and the mayor and recommend them to buy it for our city. We would now like to take your questions.
Shooting with everybody. By the way, I'm Kevin. Hi. Okay. Well, it's a lot of fun working and getting to knowing all of these people. Also, programming and building the robot. That's also really, really awesome. Enjoyed um, the game that we played where we had to toss the stuffed animals with like the sheets to each other. It was really fun working together with. A meeting? Well, that's kind of hard to describe, but I suppose I would say fun and entertaining. Complicated. Flow stands for First Lego League. First stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Okay. The robot. Okay. Um, what about the robot do you like? Uh, building it and making attachments, and sometimes programming. What was your favorite time during practice? Uh, doing robot and eating snack.